All right, guys, let's take a look at number one. We are given the wavelength of the light, and it's given in nanometers. Nanometers means times 10 to the negative ninth meters. That's what the prefix nano means. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it in terms of meters. We want to know the frequency, so we have to think about which equation we can use. The only equation that has both wavelength and frequency in it is C equals wavelength times frequency. I'm going to rearrange it to solve for V. So what I did there was I divided both sides by wavelength, lambda, in order to just solve for frequency. Now that I have an equation that just solves for frequency, all I need to do is plug my numbers in for C and for lambda, and then I'll be able to get the answer. So C is 3 times 10 to the 8, that's the speed of light, that never changes. And lambda is 589 times 10 to the negative 9th, that was given in the problem. If you type that into your calculator, then you should get this answer for frequency. The unit for frequency is hertz. In number two, we're given the wavelength of a microwave. It's already given in meters, so we don't need to convert anything. We're going to use the same equation for last time, because just like last time, we want the frequency. So we plug in the speed of light and divide it by the wavelength, and we'll get the frequency. It's going to give you a big number like this, so you want to go ahead and put it into scientific notation. Remember, scientific notation, you write the first digit, then a decimal point, then the rest of the digits, and then you have to um, write your factor of 10. How many places are you going to move the decimal over? In this case, it's 9. The unit for frequency is hertz. That's what the HZ means. And number three, we're given the frequency. That's the letter V. It's given to us in kilohertz, so you have to think about what kilo means. Kilo means times 10 to the third. So we can rewrite it as 590 times 10 to the third hertz. Let's think about which equation we can use. We want to find the wavelength. We know that C equals wavelength times frequency, so we can divide both sides by frequency to get this equation. We need to plug in the speed of light on top and the frequency on the bottom. If you enter it into your calculator, you should get 508 meters. So think about that. That's the wavelength. So the length between two waves is the length of five football fields. So that's a huge wave. And this is the thing about radio waves. A lot of the times we forget how big they are. Even though they're moving at the speed of light, a single radio wave can be the length of five football fields, or even more. Take a look at number four. You're given the wavelength of a microwave. Be careful, it's in centimeters. We need meters. So you need to move the decimal over two places to the left. Let me show you the conversion. You want to write what you're trying to get rid of on the bottom and what you want on top. That's why I put centimeters on the bottom and meters on top. And every one meter, there is 100 centimeters. So now centimeters cancel out, and I just enter the division into my calculator, and I get 0.129 meters. So that's what I'm going to use. I want energy. The equation I can use to find energy is h times c divided by lambda. h is Planck's constant. That never changes. 6.63 times, 6 times 10 to the negative 34th. c is the speed of light. And lambda is the wavelength that was given in the problem. If you enter this into your calculator, you should get this answer. The unit for energy is joules, abbreviated by the letter j. We're given in number five the wavelength of a photon. Careful, it's in nanometers, so we need to multiply times 10 to the negative ninth to put it into meters. The equation for energy is right here. Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by wavelength. We know what Planck's constant is. It never changes. We know what the speed of light is. That also never changes. The wavelength is given in the problem. Be careful to put it times 10 to the negative ninth. When you enter it into your calculator, you should get this answer for the energy. Energy is measured in joules, abbreviated by the letter J. I hope that this was helpful.